be doing just a little bit of a different video today. I don't actually have a subscription box to unbox or crystals to talk about, but I did place an order to Kelty Ink because I wanted some layering solution. So I placed an order and I thought I'd just uh, try them out on camera for the first time and share this with everyone. And as always in my videos, I'm going to start telling everyone what I'm drinking. This is Angry Orchard Rosé, hard cider. Always important to have something good to drink while you're producing art. All right, so let's get right into it. Kelty Ink. I first, I first heard about Kelty Ink from Miriam's Nature. She does a lot of alcohol ink art. She does some other things, but I've been following her mainly to get some alcohol ink tips. So she talked about this layering solution, and I think she has all the inks, and she has a 10% off code. So um, I'll link, I'll try to link her channel or something about her down below in case you are interested in buying this. But these do come from Ireland and the shipping is a little pricey. I think it was $20 just to ship this stuff here. So I would get more than just one or two things to make that shipping worth it. But I was impressed. I placed my order Saturday night after I ruined a piece that I was doing and I was watching the Ohio State game got excited and I shook up an ink that wasn't tight and ink went everywhere ruining something really pretty that I just done. So after that incident I went online and ordered this layering solution to help protect my work when I do something really nice and I don't want it to get messed up. And then since I was on the website and gonna pay for it to get shipped here I thought I'd just pick out a few inks to try them out. I was tempted to buy the whole ink set. Something tells me I'm going to really like their inks, but I didn't. I didn't. I was like, Tony, just try out one or two. See if you like them before you just jump right in. So let's see what I got. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I did say I ordered this Saturday night and these came Wednesday from Ireland. And there's things I order from a state away that don't come in that amount of time. So I guess that $20 paid off, right? Because I do have some things to do this weekend, and I wanted this. So, I mean, it's, it really worked out. So, Kelty Ink. Um, some people pronounced it Kelty. I pronounce it Kelty. However you want to pronounce it. This is the layering solution. This is, oh, sorry. Uh, I think this was 50 milliliters. And the way Miriam uses it, she barely, I mean, she just takes a brush and brushes this lightly over her work that she doesn't want to be disturbed. And I think this amount is going to last a long time. It wasn't very expensive. I think this was $7.50. But um, that wasn't the exact price. It was somewhere around there. It wasn't too bad. So I'm excited to use this because there's been some, I've ruined a couple of pieces already. And it was a bummer. All right. What did I get? Some ochre. Oh yeah, this was just purple. This was a really pretty shade purple. Slate. I didn't have any gray inks. I mean, I know I can make gray, but this just, it looked pretty and unique. And I want to do something with a jellyfish, and I thought this would work out really nicely. Ooh, forest green. I like my greens. Bottle green. I don't know. Let's see. I guess they have little dots on them. There you go. And just a blue. I have a lot of like turquoise and I have blues, but not just a straight blue ink. So I thought that'd be nice to add to my collection. So uh, I'm going to put down some paper and I'm just going to do little dots and test these out so you can see what colors they are. All right. The paper I'm just going to test these inks out on. It's a waterproof paper. It's uh, actually, I'm going to show it here. Ooh, there's a shine on it. Uh, I got this because it was cheaper than my Yepo paper. Uh, it, it might have its uses. I didn't like it as much. My inks didn't move like they do on my Yepo paper or like on a piece of tile. Um, it just, it was a little different. 
but it has its purposes. Like, I think that this would be nice if I was doing certain things. Just usually I like my inks to move a lot. And this just didn't give that to me. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to use it as a tester today, trying to get rid of it. Because I don't think I'm going to use it a whole lot. First one up is ochre. I'm just going to put a dot. Oh, yep, right there. How about that? Do her up. And then we're just going to go like this, kind of see what happens, do a little bit like this. I'm just testing out the color, really, and how the ink works. Now, note that there was some staining, even though that's yellow. A lot of my other inks don't stain when you do them full strength on my papers. Yellows don't usually, but this one did, just to note. That usually means that it's a pretty pigmented ink. No, I'm not an expert, so don't quote me on that. This is our forest green. That's a very nice green color, isn't it? I like how they thin out, too. That's very nice. I knew I was going to like these. I should have just bit the bullet and got the big stick. I mean, for 20 bucks shipping it here, I should have just... I think the whole ink set, just the inks, maybe was around $100. I don't remember how many there were, but there were quite a few. And if you got... You could buy the whole ink set and some layering solution and stuff, and it was more. But, yeah, I should have just bit the bullet and did it. Oh, that's a nice, what, what, what was that? Oh, bottle green? Now, I can see through my lens here that that looks blue, but it's more, it's kind of like a marine, a dark marine green. I'm glad I picked that color. Yeah, I was trying to find some things I didn't have in my collection of inks already to fill gaps, which is kind of hard. I have a lot of inks, but, um, you know, next guy is Slate. Now that looks pretty blue to me. Hmm. Looks navy. Doesn't it? Yeah. That's more navy than what I would expect that to be, but that's okay. I mean, when you thin it out, it might be a nice gray color. It's all right. I mean, I don't have a navy yet. I just, when it said slate, I figured it was going to be like a gray color, but that's okay. Then we have just my blue. Very nice, vibrant blue. Yeah, they're going to stain if you put them full strength out on your paper. Well, I mean like on tile, I don't think anything stains, but any kind of substrate paper or yuppo, you might get a little staining. Nice vibrant blue. I have a project in mind for actually these three colors at least. And then our purple. That's a like a royal purple color. Beautiful. Beautiful royal purple. Sometimes you can just tell from the movement of the ink if you're gonna like it or not. I should have just bought the whole set. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe Santa will buy it for me for Christmas, huh? Alright, so here's just a little tester of these inks. I mean, oops, I got out two sheets of paper. Oh well. Put that guy back. Uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm going to hit this with a hairdryer, and we're going to test out that layering solution a little bit. Now, this is something that, that Miriam 
has said about this layering solution. Once you put this on top of your alcohols, you can layer more alcohol ink on top. But she said it was very important that you use 99% isopropyl alcohol. Um, I don't think 91 is going to work because the more water that was in it, it'll break this layering solution down. So you have to use 99% isopropyl al alcohol or like a blending solution that's really high, that's got a really high percent. So um, that's really important because I think if you don't use this, it's going to break it down and not work and then you'll be unhappy. So there's that little tip for you. All right, now the direction said that you could... Um, Use a finger to apply it, or a brush. So I'm just going to do little sections, and then I'm going to actually take alcohol on top of it and see how well this does. And I might do some layering. I've got some gunk around the top, but, you know, probably to be expected. It said do not shake. You don't want bubbles. They will disrupt the smoothness of the finish, I suppose. Now, as I layer this on top, it looks shiny, but when I see other people, oh god, I just dipped my whole brush in there. When I see other people use it, it dries to where you can't even tell you used it. I'm just like an idiot, Dump, dumped my whole brush in there. Alright, I'm just going to do that much, because that'll give us an idea of what's going on. All right, folks, I'm back. I read the instructions and it says you could use a hairdryer on low heat if you wanted to. Now you can kind of see where I put it, but it doesn't really disrupt my, my picture at all. You know, like that's not gonna bother me on a finished piece. So, all right, so we have it here, 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 and here. Let's just, I'm gonna turn this around and I'm actually going to take the exact ink That screwed the pooch earlier in the weekend and ruined my wonderful work of art. So we're going to pretend that Ohio State is losing like they were in the first half and this wasn't on all the way and I was messing around and oh my god it fell all over a painting. Blah 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 blah. Right? And that's basically what happened. I mean it wasn't to that degree but any amount of ink that falls on an alcohol ink that you don't want it to it's gonna ruin it. probably used too much ink when I was shaking it all around but you know you get the point I don't know let's use a paper towel yeah I mean I think it's really working um, I didn't put a whole lot of alcohol on here some of the spots weren't dry so I mean that was probably my mess up I'm sorry I'm shaking this I'm down in my studio which is in a basement so I don't have good lighting I don't have this and that So I think we've got our answer here. Let me shut my lid. We put that layering solution here, which you can definitely tell that where we put it was not disturbed. Now, I didn't take my time and make sure every little crease and crevice was covered. I mean, I just kind of slopped it on there. So you see some of it seeping through. But if it was something I really wanted to protect or, you know, layer more alcohol on top of, I would have been more careful. But as you can see, this totally worked. Totally worked. Here on the green, same thing. You can tell. Um, we put it down here on the blue. And right here, in the, we just did this little section here on the purple. And you can tell I wasn't very precise putting it on. 
and that's what happens. So when you are using this layering solution, make sure you get every little nook and cranny or this might happen. But yeah, I mean, I think that was the sign of a success. I think it's going to work. And that's going to be awesome. And you can put more ink on top of them. So if you wanted this to stay, but you wanted to put something on top, but you didn't want this to get bled into or, you know, what happens with alcohol inks, um, you should be able to do more work on top of it. And that's not going to move. So I think this is going to be a game changer for my pieces. I mean, like, wow. And now the Miriam... In her video, she said a few times she hasn't found anything else that works like this. She doesn't know what kind of hocus pocus this was, but she doesn't know of any other substance on earth that works like this. So I will link this brand down below. Like I said, you're going to have $20 to ship it here, but that's worth it if you're into doing alcohol ink pieces. Um, I'm already excited. Like I totally ruined something and it was just a real bummer, so... Yeah, there was my little tutorial on my new my new toys, and uh, I'm probably going to stay up late tonight, drink some wine, and play with my new inks. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. If you like these kind of things, me showing more art and supplies and stuff, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see some live action alcohol ink work. So uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.